Now that you've got the rafters where they're supposed to be, it's time to slap some sheathing down so you and Ruff can take lunch. The first part of sheathing a roof is figuring out where that first sheet goes. Obviously, it doesn't go in the middle. It goes in one of the bottom corners, but you need to account for a couple of overhang dimensions. The main overhang hasn't been framed yet, and in order to frame it, you should know where that first sheet of plywood's gonna land. The other overhang that you have to think about is how far the plywood extends past the rafter tail. It should cover the subfascia and most of the fascia. It should be a bit shy of the full width of the fascia because unlike in animation land, the real world has humpy lumber. Leaving plywood shy of the fascia edge means you won't be running a skill saw along that roof edge tomorrow morning. Covering the fascia edge means more protection from water with nefarious intentions. Any self-respecting carpenter is gonna make sure that the plywood breaks on one of those ladder blocks and that's why we wanna figure out where the sheet's gonna land. You can use your little rafter jig from a couple videos ago to see where the plywood should stop. Draw the inch and a half subfascia and the fascia. I'm using 7 8 inch thick fascia to make the math a little less typical, yielding a 2 and 3 8 inch extension. The diagonal is 2 and 11 16 so that's the most you can hang the roof sheathing past the rafter tails. But you should cut about a quarter inch off that to account for humps and bumps, so 2 and a half is an easy number to remember and communicate. So burn two and a half inches on the end of the rafter tail and mark 48 inches and snap that line across the rafters. But before going much further, if you haven't already done it, you should make sure the rafters are standing plumb and that the post is braced to keep them plumb. If they're not plumb, the plywood will break at the bottom of the rafters, but it'll run diagonally off center real fast from there. Okay, so the 48 inch mark is where you should center one of those ladder blocks. After that gable overhang is framed, we can nail that first sheet of plywood down into the roof framing and the subsequent sheets. Keep the sheets on the line and split the sheets on the rafters. The rafter tails at the bottom of the sheet aren't gonna move much, but four feet up from the wall, the rafters can wobble. So it's important to pull the rafters to layout if they're not sitting perfectly. Stagger that second course a half sheet from the first and keep checking layout as you work up the roof. Inevitably, you'll have to rip the final row to fit. If there's gonna be a ridge vent installed, hold the sheathing back for whatever the manufacturer recommends, probably between one and a half and two and a half inches. With the roof sheathed, you can pop the inside braces and get bark to looking for your lunch.